John Partridge here. I'm making a short little video about a piece of mine called the Heart Skip Waltz. This is a piece I wrote when I was a student at the University of California in Santa Cruz back in the 1970s. And I wrote it because I was directing a little orchestra that played at school dances where people were doing ballroom dancing, waltzes, polkas, things like that. And some of my instrumentalists wanted to have a chance to dance. So I said, okay, I can play some stuff on the piano while you dance. And that got me fired up to actually write something. The Heart Skip Waltz is the first waltz that I ever wrote. And once I'd come up with that title, the Heart Skip Waltz, I really started to think about that expression. My heart skipped a beat. What does that feel like? How would I portray that musically? And so I'm going to talk about some technical stuff here. I'll try not to get too geeky about how I interpreted heart skip into this composition. The first technique I used, and I use it pretty much throughout the piece, is called hemiola. And in hemiola, you have a rhythm which is in three and a melody part that is in two. And I'm going to illustrate this at the piano. Hemiola. A very beautiful, powerful technique in composition. It's been around for hundreds of years because it works really well. And it has a very special feeling, a physical feeling to it that I wanted to capitalize on to give this I, sense of the skip of the heart. So what makes something a hemiola? Let's think about a waltz, which is basically in three. Here's what my left hand is doing. rhythm is threes. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. That's what my left hand is going to do. What my right hand is going to do is a melody that is in rhythms of two. sensational, speaking in the sense of the word of senses, I'm going to start this piece with a hemiola in both hands. So there's no, neither hand is playing the three of the rhythm, which is the basic rhythm of the waltz. And that hopefully gives the listener this unsettled feeling because we don't know where the downbeat is until we get a little ways into the piece. <laughs> Okay, so now we've talked about the hemiola. Uh, how do I use it? Well, for the first strain, we, what I've just been playing is pretty obvious. Right? He starts off the phrase with the hemiola, which gives us some little impetus uh, to feel that skip of the heart. So now I'm going to go on to the second thing. Change keys from C major to F minor. And again, I'm going to use that hemiola figure, which is kind of like a motif now for the heart skip. And I'm going to go. So hopefully, again, you feel that. Each of those da 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 dums are hemiolas. Okay? So we have that in the second theme. Then we go back to the first theme again. And then we go to a new theme in G major. Now listen to this. This is a contrasting 
thing. It's not nearly as percussive. It's a very melodic phrase. <laughs> something sort of different syncopation, different use of the hemiola uh, on the repeat of that theme. So we go through the whole theme one time straight. The second time, the left hand is just playing, outlining the bass. And that's still very much in three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. right hand is going to start into and stay into as it outlines the melody. So each of those notes is only over two beats. One, two, 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 one, to uh, allow the performer to slow this way down and take a lot of liberties with the tempos. If you were playing this for people to dance to, as I was, you wouldn't do this because it throws the dancers off when you change the tempo. But since I'm doing this as a concert piece, it's okay. Here's how the trio goes. <laughs> We got through the, the first three themes, the trio, and now we're ready for the finale. And the finale in a waltz usually is based on the first theme, the principal theme, but it's somehow altered to make it more bravura, more uh, exciting. You may take it a little bit faster, and it's got to lead to some sort of a big, satisfying conclusion. So, I'm going to take my first thing, I'm going to take it up an octave to give me more of a brilliant sound, and then I'm going to uh, extend it. So listen. So we extended it, and what's really interesting is that towards the end of that little bit, the left hand started playing the hemiola rhythm. Which sets us up for what I think is in some ways the coolest thing in this piece, which is where the right hand is now playing in three, the left hand is playing in two. So it's the hemiola figure we've been doing all along, but I have reversed the hands. Hemiola is now in the left hand, melody is in the right hand. So let's get into that. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this little video. To hear the waltz, you can listen to it on Spotify, on Amazon, or on iTunes. And if you'd like to buy the sheet music, it's available on sheetmusicplus.com. On any of those platforms, you just need to search for the Heartskip Waltz. Heartskip is one word. 
by John Partridge, and you'll get it. If you'd like to learn more about me and my compositions, please go to my website, jpartridge.com.